Hi, today I'm going to show you how you can make a spaceship movement. So I've made a level that we can test the movement and I've added the spaceship. So this needs six, seven, seven values. So the first one is going to be X plus and Y plus, X well and Y well. Then we need speed, turn rate, and acceleration. So let's start with the events. First, we need a always event that uh, will set the position of the spaceship. So first, we'll set the uh, X plus to its X plus plus X well, and we'll set the Y plus to Y plus plus Y well. And we'll set the position X to its Y plus, no X plus, and then we'll set the position Y to its Y plus. And let's add a starter frame event that says that the X pass is equal to its X position and the Y pass is equal to its Y position so that it doesn't start in the top left corner. So this doesn't do anything, so we have to add the uh, control offs. So let's say when we hold down the left key. We will set its uh, we will set its angle to its angle plus its turn rate times 0 0.1. The reason we uh, multiply it by 0 0.1 is because uh, then we can use a higher value in uh, on the spaceship for its turn rate, so we can add, we could have like 23 here, and it would add 2.3, but we can't uh, have 2.3 here. So, I'm just going to go with uh, 20 for now, and I'll set the speed to 6 and acceleration to 10. This is what I've used earlier, so I know it's an okay number. It looks great. And then on the right arrow we will do the same except minus turn rate. So let's test this. I'm holding right key. Now I'm holding the left key. So if I adjust this to say 26, it will turn a bit faster. So this is a easy way to use different spaceships and uh, just modify this uh, speed, acceleration and turn rate. But I'm going to keep it at 20 for now. So now we need to be able to move forward and for that we need to set its x velocity or x well that we call it to the maximum value of this is a bit complicated, but uh, we say speed times uh, minus one and comma minimum value of the x velocity plus cosine of its angle. Multiply this by its acceleration and multiply the acceleration by 0 0.1 or 0 0.01 rather. And then say comma and its speed and or 
Return the lowest value of uh, either the speed, which would be six, or the velo x val uh, plus the cosine times acceleration. So if uh, if uh, this exceeds six. And it will only return six. And uh, if we go to the left, then the x velocity will be in a negative value. So we will return the maximum value of uh, speeds multiplied by minus one. So it will this will be minus six, or the negative value of the x velocity. So it will go from a range of minus six to six. So we can actually copy this and do the same for the Y val, but we will change this and set the minus here and use sine instead of cosine. So this should make us able to to move forward and turn. And it will not stop unless uh, you make uh, it decay, if you make the speed decay. But since we're in space, we shouldn't uh, stop unless we hit something. So let's do the same for the reverse or the down button so we will just use minus here and plus here so that's all the changes we have to do so I'll add the uh, scrolling the position to, to so we can look at it a little bit better. So, if you watched my last tutorial, I explained how to add gravity. So, uh, like planetary gravity. So, if you have that uh, function as well, you can just add it into the game and you don't have to change any of these at all actually but uh, one more thing if uh, we look at the uh, xvel and yvel here it should not exceed uh, six total like but like this uh, the xvel doesn't exceed six but uh, when we go on a 45 degree angle or close to it then we get six on both so we actually move faster than we should so now we move uh, 12 pixels instead of six pixels every second or every frame so the way to fix this is to say that if the speed is lower than the absolute value of, of x well plus the absolute value of y well. So this will return at maximum 6 and this as well. So if speed is uh, so speed speed will be six. So if these exceed six, if, if 
this is uh, 6 then this should be 0 right in or if this is 4 then this should be at max 2 so we say if the speed is lower than this value then we will decay the xvel just set the xvel to xvel multiply this by 0 0.98 and do the same for yvel so now we shouldn't it's not perfect but uh, it's not noticeable as you can see we move barely above 6 and if we multiply it by uh, 97 I think it should be even better but I don't want the movement to be jagged so but this seems to work quite well so now it's not uh, fully 6 anymore, but uh, it doesn't exceed 6. I noticed this when I was uh, on my other project. I can show you so you can see how it looks when, when uh, we have gravity. So, first I'm going to deactivate this uh, event that we made last, so you can see that when, uh, even if I'm driving at uh, this angle, then <coughs> uh, the thruster doesn't go straight uh, in line with the with the ship and that's because we move at a 45 degree angle even though we don't want to so when I activate this you see we move much slower and we can't uh, we don't always move at a 45 degree angle when we're uh, not moving in a straight line so if you add it, uh, the gravity engine, then it would look something like this. You can see that uh, it doesn't it, uh, it doesn't mess with the controllers in any way. It's actually perfect. So that's that. So I hope you learned something and I'll see you next time.